How y'all doing this morning? This morning we're going to continue with another candy review of a wonderful little place here in the south called the Punta Clara Candy Kitchen or the Punta Clara Kitchen. It's located down here in Point Clear, Alabama and the Punta Clara was Spanish for Point Clear. So that was the original, you know, what the Spanish called Point Clear way back in the day. So the Punta Clara Kitchen got started in 1952. It's a fully family owned business handed down from generation to generation. And I just love talking about businesses like that. Great little place. 1952, you had Miss Dorothy Pacey. She, in her backyard, just like many Southerners do, she was putting up fig preserves. Now we grow a lot of fig trees down here. They make a wonderful sweet fruit that we take and a lot of people make cookies out of them and stuff like that but it comes in the spring and it really puts out a bunch of fruit so you got to save them and a lot of people preserve these in little jars and they make a wonderful preserve you spread on toast you can eat by so you can put them all kind of stuff fig preserves are wonderful I tell you both my grandmas used to make them I mean, they both had fig trees. Everybody in my family always had a fig tree. So that's a true Southern tradition right there. That tells you something. And anyway, so she'd make these fig preserves and just like in great Southern tradition, she'd just give them out to all the neighbors and everything. Well, one of her friends said, you know, these fig preserves are so much better than everybody else. You really ought to sell these. You ought to think about selling these. So what she did, she took her fig preserves and she also took another southern candy we call the praline. Some people call them pralines. I call them pralines. What a praline is, is basically a lot of sugar, some cream, butter, stuff like that all mixed up and we put fresh pecans in there and it's wonderful. And they're really kind of hard to make because you've got to stir, stir, stir and you've got to know just when to dip them out. You got to know just how much sugar to add and all sorts of things. They do make it pretty hard to make, but simple ingredients, but it takes a lot of skill to make a good praline. Trust me, I've tasted many, many, many of them. My grandma used to sell them. They're real good. So anyway, she took a praline recipe <clears throat> and she took her figs and she started selling them and they really took off. And I'll tell you, you know, people come from miles around to get these things. So anyway, she started growing her little business. And her business got so big, she had to move on down the road. Like I said, she started in her backyard. It went about a mile and a half just down the road. And this is a family, fully operational business with the family. She had her grandkids, her kids, her son, her oldest son, daughters, and stuff like that involved in this business. So they've been making these candies and all sorts of things. And it really took off. They even wrote a cookbook called The Black Kettle with all the old family recipes and some other recipes that were donated by the friends and neighbors. And today, sadly 2008, Miss Dorothy passed away, but the business was taken over by her daughter, by her son, and by her granddaughter, Kim. Which I've spoken with Kim, she's a really nice lady. And they're all in there, hands on, running this business. They're not doing this from afar and they got some other people in the big corporate thing. No, this is a hands on family business. It's really hard to find these days, and they're really nice people. I mean, this is, you go go down through there, like we used to go when I was a kid, we'd be going down to Fairhope, Alabama, and it's right there by it. So, you know, we'd stop at the can, we'd all be, oh, let's stop, and let's get, we all wanted pralines and stuff like that, and you go in there and say, hey, how you doing? They treat everybody just like family. Wonderful little place. So anyway, they've kept their tradition going They've tried some new recipes, got some specialty candies, they get a bunch of jams and jellies and stuff like that out now. Um, you know, the prawlings, the fudge, the divinity, all created the family recipes. They also got pickles, jams, preserves, jelly. They even got a watermelon rind jam. If you hadn't had that, that's an amazing thing. They got a raspberry jam. I really love raspberry jam. I'd love to try that someday. And their fig preserves, of course. You know, they will do weddings, they'll do corporate stuff and all kinds of things like that, you know, special order. Actually, their divinity's been mentioned on national ch television. Uh, there was a show called Small Town Flavor. The divinity was on Small Town Flavor. And they also have a treat called Butter Pecan P Crunch. And it was on the Food Network. You know, they come in and did a special on it. I mean, some real notoriety here, some real good candies. So anyway, like we said, candies, let's get down to business. Let's get down to this fudge. Let's get down to these candies. Let's give everything a taste. And first off, we're going to start with the homemade fudge. 
They make a delicious melt in your mouth fudge with the grandma's recipe. Like I said, they make it with or without pecans, however you like it. I love all my fudge pecans, I just think. But I've got family members that don't, you know? So let's just get down, let's taste some of this fudge. Let's see what we got going here. Let's see if I can get the camera adjusted for you. Try to turn that around a little bit. See that a little bit better. Zoom in some. Okay, here we go. All right, let's start out with the first flavor. This is the chocolate con right here. All right, let's do the texture thing like we do. All right, this nice butter, but this is a little bit of firmer fudge. Okay, now that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. A little bit firmer, and it's got a good crumble to it. You know, a lot of judges and stuff like that, when they judge, they judge a crumble, and they like there to be some crumble. So texture, that's very nice, very nice there. And so then we're going to take a little slice of the chocolate pecan. See there? Nice marble and pecan and everything. We're going to give it a taste. Mmm. We're good. Taste that again. This fudge to me is the most reminiscent of a real homemade fudge. I mean, it tastes like something your grandma or your aunt or somebody made in the kitchen. It has a sweet, pretty sweet note to it. It's a pretty sweet fudge. Not too, too sweet, but it's pretty sweet. Taste the pecans, but with that texture, it's got, it's got that good crumble to it. You know, not, I'm not saying it's real crumbly or dry, but it's got a little bit of crumble, so you can break it like that. This really reminds me of the Christmas fudge back when I was a little kid growing up. It's good stuff. This is not the butter fudge or anything like that. I mean, some, some places, I don't say either one, you know, it was right or wrong. But this, to me, is the old time Christmas you know, tradition or you know, parties and stuff like that. A real good homemade taste fudge. That was the chocolate. All right, next, I'll move some of this around. We're going to try the caramel. This is one I really want to try here. This is the caramel pecan. Okay, let's give it a cut into. Something that thing is loaded up. Come look at that. I'm telling you, this one's got a nice texture to it. Let's give it a little break here. Put a crumble to it. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to taste this again. A lot of pecan in there. That's really good. Light, nice caramel finish to it. Not too strong, but nice sweet little finish. It almost reminds me of the praline. That's a nice taste. Nice little, it's got the same texture to it. With that nice little caramel finish. Nice and sweet. Okay. Now, last but not least, let's try the vanilla con fudge. Then we'll go texture. Ooh, this one. This one seems a little bit softer. Interesting. Interesting. A little bit softer. Mmm, very sweet. Okay. It's a good fudge. In moderation, I like this one. You do have that vanilla note that comes through. I'm going to tell you what it reminds me of. It's a really good homemade ice cream. 
Seriously, it's that same, that real vanilla taste. I mean, you can tell they've used some really good vanilla in here. See if it's got a smell to it. You can almost smell that vanilla coming through too. Everyone wants some good stuff too. Vanilla fudge. It's the first for me. Very interesting. And I bet you this would be wonderful if you melted this up and you poured it over some ice cream or something as well. It's a wonderful, sweet, new flavor factor. New thing to me. Really good. Okay. Next, we're going to go to the Divinity. Let's talk about the menu here just for a minute. Sorry, still had y'all zoomed in there. Okay. Divinity. Divinity is a traditional Southern Christmas candy. But of course, it can be enjoyed any time of the year. It's a snowy white candy with a cloud-like texture. That's what it should be. It's another thing of the South to me. It's just something that the grandmas and everybody got in the kitchen to make. And this is another very hard dish to execute. Very hard candy. It's made with lots of egg whites, corn syrup, lots of sugar. And basically what they do, they boil those, that corn syrup and the sugar up. And they, they boil it to a certain, very certain point. They add the egg whites, they have to whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Then they've got to know exactly when to dish it out. And then they've got to deal with the weather. I knew my grandmother used to make it and she'd be all upset. Oh, it just didn't turn out the weather. If, if the weather's not right, it's like clay or it doesn't set up, it doesn't get fluffy. So this is a really, really something that takes a lot to make, okay? A lot, a lot of knowledge and stuff like that. So let's try the divinity. Go ahead and zoom in again. So y'all can get a, get a look for it. So... I'm cutting half and get a good eat. Oh, another thing about the vending, you always put a pecan on top, and you always want to choose your freshest pecans. You know, ones of that season, they're just tall. Now, look at this, I mean, look at the texture. Look at the, look at that. It just comes apart. I wish you could feel it's almost like a marshmallow. This is perfect. This is what you're looking for, and you're looking for a good divinity. Something just like that. Just Beautiful. See how I smashed it with my finger right there? Just what you're looking just kind of, just, just like a cloud, okay? So we're going to go ahead and try that. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Really wonderful. You know, taste profile on this one, really sweet, but wonderfully light, not dense or anything like that. Just a sweet, light, almost like a, I don't even want to compare it to a marshmallow because it's so much more complex than the marshmallow as far as the taste goes. And if you ever had a really good tappy, like the plain, you know, white vanilla, the softer kind, it's real chewy and has that wonderful sweet sugar taste to it. This is kind of like that, except for with none of the chew. Don't chew it and it just melts in your mouth. And that's how good the vanity should, should do. It should just melt. Perfect, perfect on the vanity. All right, last but not least, the praline. Oh, wow. This thing is chock full of pecans. That's another thing you look for in praline. Let me go over a few things about praline here. Because, like I said, I've been having pralines all my life. First off, you see a lot of pecans in there. That's really good. Now, look at this. See that thinness? That's what you're looking for. You see pralines are just one big lump like that. That person, when they poured them out, they put them out either too late or something like that, and they didn't spread. This one spread just like it was supposed to. It's got the proper thinness in it. Oh, it smells wonderful. I'm going to just give it a break here. It's got that proper break. I mean, this thing is nice. So it's got the perfect break. So it's not too hard, not too soft. Look at that. Look at that. 
Now another thing we'll talk about this praline is if you'll notice there's some little bit of white splotches in there you might say well that's an imperfection that's uh you know it shouldn't look like that no no let me tell you what that is that's actually some of the the, the sugar is starting to recrystallize whatever it's when the sugar crystallization process starts you know when it breaks down it turns to that liquid and then it's getting to a solid again deal is with that if you see a praline that has none of that and it's a darker color and stuff, it's because people pump preservatives in there. There's chemicals in there to stop that sort of thing. These are 100% natural pralines, okay? This is the like the ones that my grandma made. These are the ones that, that you want, you know, without chuck full of all those additives and artificial stuff, okay? So let's give these a taste. Really nice. Real nice. Now, when you're tasting the praline, one of the main things I look for is, and sometimes it's kind of hard when you're chewing because you got the nuts and everything in there, is graininess. You don't want any of that graininess from the sugar. It should be nice and smooth, mellow. That's how this one is. I'm not tasting any graininess. No grip from the sugar. It's a nice, smooth sweetness. You got your pecans. The pralines are a wonderful candy of the South. I'm telling you, if you hadn't tried them and you want to, you're from somewhere where they don't have pralines and stuff like that really available, or even if they do, they don't have the real deal, order them from the Punta Clara. I'm telling you, you can't. This is a true Southern praline. I did a video once on how to make them and stuff like that, but you've got to really know what you're doing to try to do that. Even I wasn't that good. My grandma could do it. But these, if you really want to taste a true Southern Praline, what they're supposed to taste like, try one of these. I'm telling you, that's perfect. That's what we're looking for, okay? Bunch of clear Praline. I've really enjoyed making this video. It's really kind of brought me back, you know, to some old Southern roots when I was growing up as a kid. got to taste a bunch of wonderful candies. If you ever get a chance, you're passing through Port Clear, Alabama, you know, you're heading down to the beach or something like that, or you're down there in Fairhope. We used to get them on the way home, too, because it'd make the trip and the way home not seem so bad. You know, you're all sad because you're going home from the beach and the boat and all that, and you kind of pick up some of those sweets, and it just lifts you up. But even if you can't get down there, they've got a website. I'm going to put a link in the description box where you can order these candies, okay? Uh, Y'all give them a try. Fun to clear. Uh, we thank you all so much. Kim, I really appreciate it. And we had, um, we really had fun with this. This is, this is a good candy. Thank y'all.